dear friends very good morning today we will discuss about uh, types of entrepreneurship entrepreneurship means it, it's an enterprise uh, uh, that has been handled by the entrepreneur one fundamental of any business is that business cannot be done in vacuum it has been impacted by numbers of factors suppose we are discussing about the entrepreneurship or types of entrepreneurship it doesn't mean that we will let out all the factors that uh, impact on a particular definition or the particular characteristics of an entrepreneurship students when you are dealing about the entrepreneurs or enterprise who are always thinking that what should be the external factor just like the political socio cultural technological environmental natural global that impact on the enterprise and ultimately that impact on the entrepreneurs and that ultimately impact on the different type of the definition or the paraphernalia or different type of the characteristic of the entrepreneurship on that basis we will define the types of entrepreneurship two to three fundamentals you have to learn one is what should be the characteristics of developed countries and the developing countries like india in developed countries recession come when they, they have the enough capi capital but they have not enough opportunity to, to utilize their capital means somehow in developed countries recession come when there is a saturated economy means sabke paas sab kuch hai khareedne ke liye kuch nahi hai in developing country like india recession come when we have not enough capital to utilize the demand of the um, country populations or the large chunk of the population so it means in india like countries recession come when we should not create the capital if this is the fundamental then ultimately to sustain in the market you have to generate capital when you generate capital then you need money when you need money then you cannot eradicate inflation that should be discussed in a different chapters second fundamental second concept is in india about large chunk of the populations are below poverty line that should we should understand the poverty cycle second is in india our economy always in the hand of the primary structure or means our maximum economy coming from the agricultural fraternity or agricultural community or by uh, improving or the increase in the agriculture productions in india about 57% of the populations it directly or indirectly depend on the agriculture but contribute only 17% of the gdp that means if you divide the overall profit among the 57% of the populations then ultimately uh, it is very difficult to sustainable in the current market one common say is that if you change the all the farmers to an entrepreneur then agriculture will be the number one industry in the world in that connections we should know about the poverty cycles suppose you you feel that we have very less capital but large chunk of the population depends on it then ultimately we have the less productivity if you have the less productivity then ultimately you have the less income generation capacity if you have the less income generation capacity then ultimately you have less saving and the investment then ultimately again you are uh, you are uh, you are the capable to generate less capital it means it is going on in a similar fashion if you not break it who will break it that the entrepreneur entrepreneur will the break it again third fundamental but on that third fundamental uh, is a common say of the porters that in every organization or the every country there are three type of the enterprise factor driven enterprise production driven enterprise and innovation driven enterprise factor driven enterprise means when there is large chunk of the populations are unemployed then we, we use the labor of the particular country to generate the product particularly in that category we are we are coming second is production driven enterprise means you will increase the efficiency of your productions by utilizing the minimum cost and um, handling the lesser wastages then autom automatically you will be the self sufficient in the market 
third is the innovative generation enterprise innovative generation enterprise means you will be more innovative in your product to satisfy the demand of the customers but the problem with the innovation is you need more resources in all these categories today i will bifurcate the types of entrepreneurship types of entrepreneurship in the fundamental way has been categorized into innovative entrepreneurship imitative entrepreneurship fabian entrepreneurship copreneurship drone entrepreneurship and intrapreneurship very very simple innovative entrepreneurship means those persons or the those organizations or those country or those entrepreneurs who have enough resources to generate the new product they are the innovative particular the developed countries they have the enough resources enough technologies they will generate the new product imitative entrepreneurship means we are the country we have the demand but we have not the resources that's why for any resources will depend on the developed countries that's why their patent their copyright in the numbers of things who will depend on the who take the license to produce the product somehow it is linked to the ipr or intellectual property right we'll discuss in the, the other classes fabian entrepreneurship is is a very common is a fast generation entrepreneurship these entrepreneurs are very cautious in their activities means every time they will very skeptical very cautious that whether we will take the decisions or not to take the decisions somehow is a fabian entrepreneurship we just mock mock it um drone entrepreneurship particularly those entrepreneurs who always use the obsolete technologies they will not innovate or regenerate their technologies according to the need of the current market that are the drone entrepreneurship copreneurship hopefully in the current days uh due to advent of uh, uh, new academic phenomena and the advent of uh, exposures particularly in the copreneurs means either they are maybe the husband and wife or maybe or may not be husband or wife they will come to a single platform and uh, invest uh, in the different type of the uh, business they are called as the uh, copreneurship harvested gold is one of the best case studies that may be discussed in the separate classes in the relevant with the copreneurship another important term is the intrapreneurship means organizing organizations entrepreneurship they are very much pertinent in the current days phenomena because when the organizations grow then ultimately the, the tall organizations become the flatter one when the organization the flatter one you will increase or in create the uh, infusion of the particular technologies when the technology will come then organization become flat when the organization will grow then ultimately you will find that in the similar organizations numbers of the entrepreneurs will come they you may call as the whistle blowers you may call as the quality circle teams but whatever their ideas their experience has created new scenario in the coming days have you you have you have listened that the bite bite is a wafer of the cadbury that that bites concept has coming from their drivers their drivers input has converted into a product you have listen the kitchen of india the itc the kitchen of india's product has been confined or the uh, has been uh, coming from the ideas of the their chefs the kitchen chefs has given the ideas and the kitchen of the india will come in the different type of the products they are are the main entrepreneurs you will call the organizational entrepreneurs who will um, make the organizations one step ahead question arises who is mitter the entrepreneur who is build the organization or the entrepreneur who will run the organizations but it's it's a debatable topic we will discuss in the different podium or the different uh, different platform or whatever your new ideas new innovations and um, somehow your innovations is linked to the integrations and inclusiveness then ultimately we will create a new india or we'll create a new developing countries and at the at the last point uh, i just i will just talk out in a single term innovations risk entrepreneurs exposure to the all the factors then ultimately uh, you will be a, a better fine in the current economy but whatever again i am saying after 15 april or after the corona pandemic you will find the different type of the entrepreneurs acumen uh, for sustainable the marketing environment thank you